Hi everybody, so <clears throat> what I wanted to do here is make a video and show you how to use Microsoft Word Online through your KCTCS um, HCC access. And then I wanted to show you how to do the paper info, the um, header, and the page number, as well as how to do a parenthetical or in-text citation. And then I want to show you how to do a works cited and to cite your source. All right, so uh, this video might take a few minutes. Um, okay, so here I go. Um, I'm going to pull up. This is the MyPath app, you know, um, the KCTCS page there. And then I go to the what's called the Waffle. So I click on the Waffle. From the Waffle, I go to Word. And this is the online version of Word. It has similar features it's similar but it's not the exact same so if you're used to word you know it's a little different um taking a little bit to pull up okay so i'm going to click on new document Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is, you know, you type your name. Oh, look, it's not in Times New Roman 12 point font, so I need to do that. And then the English 101, you could also put, you know, writing one, or if it's English 102 or whatever. Then the date, and you have to do it like this. No commas, no nothing. It's a different form than what you're used to. What I'm going to do now, I use keyboard keyboard shortcuts. Control A selects everything. And then after I hit Control A, I'm going to go to Times New Roman, 12 point. So I'm in compliance with MLA. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is show you how to use your toolbar to insert a header okay so you know you have file you have home insert layout references go to insert and then right here you have this header and footer option okay select header and footer it gives you the option to put it there in the middle or on the right so I want it right justified I type my last name and then I hit space because I'm going to insert a page number okay so then right next to header and footer is page numbers. I click it. I'm going to put the page number right there. And see it says we'll add page numbers here. So they put this little um, symbol there to indicate that each page number is going to be different. You know, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So then when I click off of that, it says header there. And then I, I see my paper where I'm typing. <clears throat> when I go back to it, I hit header. Then I can go back and modify it. That's how you do your header. And if you go down to your... Um, you know, second page, then it'll say your last name. It'll insert it for you, the last name and the page number. Okay, so then the title, you know, you have to have a title that's in 12-point font, Times New Roman, that's not bold, it's not underlined, it's not in 20-point font, and then you just center it. I have to go back to the home, and then I center the alignment, okay? Okay. So I'm going to keep going down, and I'm going to make a works cited page right now. Okay, so this is the, the second page. Um, obviously, you would do a, write your essay and then do the works cited, but I have the works cited right there. you know. And then I'm going to go back to alignment and do left justification. Let's look at the header here. It's going to say James, and it's going to have the proper page number. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. So right now, let's say that um, I'm typing a source, you know, and this is the whatever source that I got from the library, okay? There we go. Well, I need to put that in a hanging indention. And the proper way to do a hanging indention is to go back to insert. 
I'm sorry, go to layout, highlight what you want to put the hanging indention on, and then in on the layout tab from the toolbar, go to this ellipse right here, paragraph options, you have general indention and then spacing. Under indention, go to special and put hanging. Okay, so see then I have a hanging indention. Okay, the other thing that um, I'd like to show you is let's say that you are on the um, the library's website, right? And um, you know we went through um, some stuff of how to use the library. Uh, I'm just gonna access it the way I normally do. So let's say you're on the library's website. You find a resource that you want to use. Now I'm in EBSCOhost. Going to EBSCOhost. All right, so I'm doing the all select all continue. You know, this week you're you're maybe researching a career, so let's search the education career. And I didn't modify or refine my results because I'm just looking for an example here. Okay, so uh, boom, let's use that one, right? So look at this. This is handy. Right here in the corner, you see in the corner over here to the right, list these tools that you can use. One of them is called Cite. Click the Cite button. Okay, so it gives you all the different formats that you can cite your work in. AMA, APA, Chicago Style, Harvard, ML, ML, oh, MLA, there we go. Look, I use my mouse, my cursor to copy and paste it. So I hit Control A. I'm going to go back to my Word document. And that's centered. I, I don't want it to be um, centered. So let me change that. Okay, so now, paste. Okay, it pasted it, it's a perfect citation. I didn't have to type anything. I just copied it onto my clipboard and did that, but it's not in the hanging indention. So again, just highlight it. Once you have it highlighted, go to layout. From layout, go to the ellipse and paragraph options. Under indention, under special, I'm going to hit hanging indention. There you go. So you do a works cited page uh, very easily um, in MLA format. All right, so this video is really long now, eight minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop.